Alrighty guys, so today, uh, the boss, I don't know what came over him, but he started to play AD Aurelia. No more AP Aurelia. As you can see, these are the runes he's running. I guess he had an epiphany, something happened. Um, and it's 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 gonna be interesting. I mean, it's the Ravenous Hydra buffs. I don't know. Let's check it out. So, you know, AP Aurelia. Eh, eh, I was never a fan of that. I'm a fan of the AP Jax though. I think it works in a lot of uh, certain scenarios where your team has a heavy AD, right? But also, we got nerfed. I think I think you guys were right. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I think you guys were right on the Aurelia. Oh, okay. On the Aurelia build. So yeah, I think he went conditioning overgrowth. I totally forgot, but yeah, conqueror, uh, triumph. I think it might be present in mind. Bloodline is what I saw, and last stand. Right, so you saw the runes there. You could just rewind it, but basically he's against a Jace. How's this matchup go? Uh, I think level one you have to. I think you go E. He probably knows better because you can't really contest Jace level one. He's super strong level one. Level two, you go Q, and I, I think I think level two is still hard. I think level three is where you can actually trade with him because you have W two Q uh, like whatever it's called. Um, damage reduction his Q plus EQ. So yeah, I'm gonna see how he plays it. He's also against at least Sin, and if he's weak sided, uh, he can go Ninja Tabby Rush. Virus, and... you're not. Virus, actually, where are you going, Virus? What the? Wait, he's not gonna give me a ward, is he? Because of a range matchup, he's gonna give me a ward in the bush. Holy, who is this virus? I, I, he's still there. Okay, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I would say, you know, getting you don't because have to go ninja top tabby. Range matchup is all about vision, uh, the bush, uh, bush control. You don't even have to go ninja tabby. You can just buy a cloth armor if it gets hard, and then like you weak side. You're big. Help. Is that is that where the ward's supposed to be? I thought it's supposed to be in the middle bush. I don't I don't know if that's that's where the ward is, but okay. He apparently boss likes it. Um, maybe he knows. Maybe this various place top lane, right? I don't know. It's the second bush. He can't fall. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, he put a ward there. That's what. What is this? I mean, I guess it makes I don't like sense. My position here. Do I win level one? No way, right? No. He has two forms. <laughs> so, well, how does he play it? Remember, With boss wave, likes, I do, he likes to cheat. He likes to, like, basically, he likes to wait, get ways to get out of laning phase and cheat. Actually, that was a great trade, actually. I'm not going to lie. That was a great trade. He fights in his menu wave. This is Q, Even auto. Even trade is winning trade in this matchup. Because I am more sustained. Should you go D shield? Of course not. I think you win, maybe. You can go for a quick trade level two. Be turn into an all in if you land E. We'll see. If you have four stacks of passive and he's for some reason in uh in in range. But like he's kinda he's kinda really is kinda looking clean, no? Okay. But he also has yeah, a lot more sustain. Kinda comes out on top. Potting up. Both both laners potting up. This is a little ambitious. Let's see if it works. Could work. Okay, well. Hey, we're getting close now. He didn't have like any Q form. He dodges the Q. Okay. Totally forgot. Running out he... of mana as well. It always goes Doran's Blade level, uh, even on ED really, right? He has flash to react to Jay's flash Q or something like that. Dodge damage. Now this is where it gets very volatile. I'm gonna put two points in Q because I don't have the mana to use EW. That is very smart actually. I think that's uh, that's worth. If he lands, uh, yeah, if he lands E, that that Jace is dead. Uh, but uh, yeah, flash for flash, really nice. Oh wait, what? Mana. Ah. Huh. I look. Oh, that was very close. And uh, big. <laughs> Come on, are you kidding me? I think it's actually worth go for that risk because the hell because yeah, you that was him not to even close let me tell you that was not i was not even sweating 
Um, it's actually good to go for that all in. I don't know if you like, if you calculated that who's gonna win it, but I think it's good because you have a big wave, and if you can deny him the wave, oh my, he he will TP back. But I mean, it's it's a good all in. And now I'm full item builds, and I was just over. Now losing trades are winning trades because of my sustain. Okay. And um. If I lose the trade, I win the trade. Even if he died there, I don't think it would be the worst thing in the world. But it could be bad. He's got four stacks. He's just gonna. I'm yeah. fine. Face tanking. Yeah, he's the traders are really insane because he's. Oh. Okay, well, now he's gonna oh, go for the wave. I was not fine face tanking. Is he not going for the wave? Oh, okay. As a matter of fact, I was not fine face tanking. Oh, but with the wave, it's good. Okay, that's why. I'm so stupid. I think I'm gonna TP here and try and 1v2 them. Classic Aurelia 1v2. It might backfire. Would be pushing into him. I would have suicide for the wave. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> that was so bad. Okay. Uh, Why can't I hit my stun, by the way? I haven't hit a single stun this entire game. What's going on? Hey, if you hit. Stun, I, I can see the one I'm not too. this bad on Aurelia, guys. I promise you I'm not this bad. This is weird. What's winning? Um, it's a risky play, but if, I can see him 1v2ing I, if he hits stun on two people. Even just the Jace, I think he can kill the Jace and just get out. Uh, I don't know if he had four stacks of his passive because he missed his E, so I'm guessing he just had one or two. Good or pressure four. soaking top, ain't no problem. <laughs> this is a hard push into maybe a proxy angle. Oh, just kind of slow. I'm, I'm actually, I didn't um, see Jace's back timer, but yeah. A slow push, kind of, and not a hard push. He wants to stack a big wave so he can, like, oh, it's overheal he has. And all in is coming. Is this working? Kind of. I mean, he gets push. This doesn't really lose an ultimate because he have one, so. But he got the back timer here. Case is either going to have to hard push this or back right now. Technically, he's up in tempo advantage. He's back first. Uh, and if Jace goes for this wave, um, well, Relly can maybe freeze it. Maybe. Depending how fast he's he push, right? But he'll be up uh, some items. So that's going to be risky. As you can see, who's first to lane? Wait, what? I think he stayed and got fruit, but he can be frozen on. Yeah, exactly. So here, there's only one person who can screw up this whole thing, and that's the jungler. Both junglers are look. Honestly, whichever jungler comes here first will win the lane. Because actually, boss is not that far behind. He has a kill. I think Jace has... Tank the combo here, so he can't farm. Okay, yeah, he wants to freeze. Very smart. Is he going to deny cannon? Can he deny this? This would be big if he does. Yeah, he's going to go aggressive on this. W is the... Big Q, he's gonna, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. He doesn't care. That's so much sustain. So, oh, here, okay, well, no, no, it's not a jungler, it's, it's mid laner. Oh, it's jungler. What the fuck? It's mid laner and jungle. They're here. Oh, yeah, he's playing Bork. I thought he was gonna berserk freeze. So, uh, he is weak sided. If I do the dare, I won't be free. Unlucky. He is weak sided at the moment, right? Um, this is where I, I think. He did buy a cloth armor though. Although he has a call. But that's okay. I guess he's going to play a scale. Um, I did not like the thing is, she, he, thing is, really is actually full build with Vamp Scepter. So him buying this cloth armor, I think he knows he's weak sided. Oh my god, I actually predicted that the cloth armor buy was going to be big because he's against Lee Sin and. Um, Jace, so it's actually really big. Will we finish the tabby still before his Blade of Rune King? I'm not too sure. 
we get to find out the hard push here uh will we proxy probably not i don't think he wants to get a lot of deaths we'll see we'll see oh he's going for the plate oh 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 Oh, 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 okay. He's, he, he does have sustain. It's not AP Aurelio. His bot lane is winning pretty hard. I don't even know if I picked the right VOD. I think this game is over because of everything that's going on. Uh, oh. I'm trolling. What is going on with my buttons? I'm clicking my buttons, but they're not going off. God damn it, man. I think... Be okay. I actually think that all in is good. If I don't know if he wins it though, because he can life steal off the minions and then like all in the Jace. I guess he couldn't click his buttons, but uh, you know, I don't know if that, that guy is the real Diplex on, on like NA server. He was like 900 LP, could be the real one, but uh, yeah, if he. Zellos. Oh, did the, the, the fight faster like Relia King Sal I think maybe he could have actually could have won he didn't have W there for the big combo but now he definitely doesn't want to win this uh, lane at all so what I want to do here is hard push into oh he has Eclipse he, he, um, why isn't this Jace fighting him on there I'm surprised he's not okay proxy oh gosh Oh, I guess the plating. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no. Okay, but like, Flash is sort of, okay, here we go. He doesn't die for it. Oh, God. He, he, um, okay, well, like, he wastes Jace's time, I guess, and then okay, he's going tabby, he's going for weak side play. But, okay. Um, I, I guess he flashed for 125 gold is, is good? I don't know. Um, Jace has too much movement speed to hit E. Like, a good player will never get hit by a rally E when he has movement speed. So he has to wait for maybe... Oh, gosh. Uh, he has to wait for Eclipse movement speed to wear off, as well as R movement speed to wear off, as well as Acceleration Gate to wear off, and then he can hit his E. Otherwise, this, the way this Jace is playing is actually a uh, good movement. If you notice he has really good movement, you can never hit this Jace with, with E unless you somehow hide it. With like queuing the minion and stuff. Um, wait, is Jace is playing? Actually, pretty, I'm guessing this guy's challenger, but maybe not. Maybe he's like grandmaster. His move is good. It. Wow, my team's in this game. I'm gonna go for a hard push. Okay. Wait. Ooh, good QE stun. Yeah, they're so good. What the fuck? Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Can he do something here? Wait, wait out the shield? I don't, I don't, I don't, I I don't know. I don't even think it's his fault. His team is baiting I him. So bad. My, my Q went on the wrong thing. Like Did it? Did it go on the wrong thing? I, I think his team is just straight up baiting him. Yeah, what is this? This dive is good, but then Talia shows up, so you can't dive, you just back off. Can we ignore this troll kid? Who's he talking about? I don't really think it's 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 the boss, because his team trolled him. And he's weak sided as Aurelia. Uh, I mean you can strong side Aurelia and like, you know, she just takes over top side. Well she takes over bot side? No. I don't think the champion's that good. Unless you're Aurelia King, then it's good. And that's 600 bounty, right? Is that 700 to Jace? I don't want her to see the slaughter. <sighs> so, um, hmm. So yeah, the, I I was I was actually impressed that he went the ninja tabby by after his uh, first item, which is Vamp Scepter. Ah, uh, can't get the plates. This, he sends a pussy. I mean, okay, never mind. He's just dead. But he's gonna go for the the wave. Oh no! My way. <laughs> okay. Uh.
maybe maybe this game was 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 uh was uh i don't know if i picked the right mod i don't know i'm struggling this game he's matching cs i guess jace is well jace is 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 like up in gold i don't know if he bought yet but the thing is he's only up he has 50s he only has 30 30 ad more actually wait i actually this is giving the treatment which side do you turn I um, I fucking haven't played Aurelia in 20 years. I'm so rusty. Interesting, okay. Um, I mean, he is getting the treatment. And his team is winning. So, like, it's actually kind of fine. Unless it's Jace 1v9s. But really, how can a Jace 1v9 into a Poppy, Wei, Varus, and Oriana? Um, this chat... The champion like a 1v9 maybe here into this team comp is probably Camille. But because it's the Jace, I don't think he can 1v9 very easily into this much CC. What the hell? This Talia has a 500 bounty. Uh, unfortunately, he went to the tank poppy support. This is pink. Oh, he want, they want the tower. They want to go top. He goes bottom. Is he gonna? Okay, this guy's two items. Definitely don't win the. Tr Does he win? Okay. What is going on? Like, what is going on? There. It, you know what's crazy? If there wasn't a tower there, he wins this. The, the, but, what? He's, this Jace is two items. He wins this and he's just two item. Okay. I mean, the Jace technically has no ninja tabby. He has Swifties. Um, so, uh, a, yeah, if he had ninja tabby, Jace harder wins it. But uh, one item, around, full build, by the way, probably does, I guess, win that. He hits everything too, right? I don't know if he W'd the JCQ, but I mean, he wins that. Okay, Relic King wins that. Uh, maybe TF Blade. Maybe. Other Aurelia players? Yeah, I'd say also maybe. I think it, the way the... I mean, this champion is not a easy champion, right? You, like, execution needs... I would go for that. Um, execution needs to be on point. This champion to, like, be good. Is one of those champions that need needs execution. Oh, what's he gonna do here? The, I think he still loses, right? Yeah. Oh. I can't believe it, man! What the fuck? None of my Qs are hitting where they should hit. I mean, should hit. They're obviously hitting there for a reason. But like, I'm going for the Q another way, but I'm misclicking every time. I think I misclicked my Q six times this game. Okay. Different play style from, from from. Well, like yeah, you got to auto on on AD Aurelia on an AP Aurelia. You, you don't really have to auto. Just land your R and E. Then use Q to juke. Wow, this is completely different play styles. It's kind of funny. And Varus has now given Lee Sin it, but. Uh... I mean, yeah, there he's. He got a really nice E. Pushing so many lanes. He deny once. her the, the, the wall. He just had to get out, but he didn't want to expend flash. Because he thought he could one, juke the W, and two, he didn't know if her E was up. I don't know if you want to fight fight this Lee Sin, but if you check items. It's called done. What's he going? I, actually after Blade Rune King, I would have went tank. Just, I don't know, because you're so behind. 
there's two routes to go just keep going to full damage and try and stat check someone i guess you can stat check this non ninja tabby jays um or you can play for team fights and who's fed oh everyone's fed actually the hell he has no uh i guess he does have w i swear at least he went over the wall into the thing Poppy is really good, or not really good in Tatalia. He can't go in anymore. Oh, big stun, but can anyone follow up? Way? Oh, there's a wall. This way could actually smurf if there wasn't a wall, because he actually made so much space. Oh my god. He made so Actually, boss made a lot of space uh, for, for way to actually land spells, but there's a Talia wall. And he didn't know. I didn't even know. I think Varus is trolling here. I don't know how this Varus has died so many times. The, the, the Jace TPing is... is Because the Jace had a lead, and then he gets a free bounty. I don't know how he died to the least sin. Varus, very immobile champion. But, uh... I guess we're in for a doozy. We are 2 in 10. I mean, uh, this is a classic of Camping Aurelia, who... I mean, this happens a lot in solo queue because, like, I mean, Aurelia when behind is just so useless, right? Actually, sometimes they they feel like a tanky frontline that actually is useful. But um, gonna be honest here, oh, she's kind of just a very snowball champion. Gets ahead, and um, one of two things happen: she snowballs really hard because you know does Aurelia things, or she gets CC chained by like Rexai. Uh, Braum, a lot of these melee counter champions. Talia is a big counter to, to Aurelia, right? All these champions that counter. Can he, can he, I don't, I don't think so. But he has, see, there's like no escaping this, right? A three item Jace, he's one item and a half. And the only thing he can really do is like, just keep going bot lane and like split pushing, get some pressure out. He's trying to like find a flank, but... Like, I don't know. There's two things I, I see. You either split push to death, which is kind of like int. At least there's some pressure. Or you kind of try and team fight with your team. Um, yeah. He's not really building the team fight. Looks like he's building the split pressure. Uh, so, I don't know. I think you either TP to a play where you, you can like help your team uh, your team is very powerful because they're like winning hard mid bot um tank for your team or just I don't know push your wave out and then try and look for something honestly I think split pushing is bad here like I think you split push until you see how the river there's a, there's a line call it the 50% the, the line uh, once your wave is a, ahead of that then you should go in group yeah, we lose the game he has there. teleport, so like, why, why does he care, right? He can just do whatever he wants. If Jace groups, okay, good. I can't even group. You just have to give. Okay, so they're giving Baron. Yeah, that's good. At least he gets 700 gold here. He gets uh, 700 gold here in a wave. Oh, well, that's like 800, 900 gold. Uh, his Varus couldn't carry, which is unfortunate. I mean, he's three deaths. I guess those three deaths were really crucial. Those three deaths were really crucial to not die. What can he do? What's he going to build? Okay. It's both very life steely. I think maybe if he worked on this champion more, like as the AD part. I want to see like a really good game where he doesn't get camped and like all this stuff happening to him. Um, but I don't know. Maybe there is one, maybe there isn't. I don't know. Yeah. I think this is kind of good. He, he's not grouping with his team. He's kind of useless. Okay, never mind. I lied. Something's happening. Okay. Okay, AD Aurelia coming. Okay, what the hell? I don't know how they're winning. That was a that was a great TP. Content the game, I go top. Yep. 
Can't end the game. I'm gonna go top. Good move here. That was, that was great. This team somehow smurfed it 4v5. Like, I don't know how. They have Baron too, right? They should be getting pressured into their, like, base. If they only lost tier 1, like... I mean, technically, Defway and Varus and Orianna Control Mage, who outranges, right? So, uh, yeah. It's kind of good. Okay. <laughs> okay, Ori's dead. Um, but he gets tier, like, I don't know if he should int for this. Although, Jinx is backing off. She's just letting him give it. That means no one is here to, to give. Or, like, to protect. Okay. I, I was going to say, uh, the, the tier 2 tower is, is Baron, probably... Baron, uh, buff, tanked up the minions. I didn't get reset. Um, I was going to say get the tower and leave. But he went for the wave. So, that's decision. Is a decision... But I'd say that's a greedy decision. It's not like, can you get the wave and tower? Maybe, but I would just get the tower, run off. Because I think his bounty did reset uh, after the TP. Um, I was going to say get the tower, but I was unsure if he should get the wave. Because I knew Jinx was backing off, which means no one's nearby at that moment. The moment, uh, the moment she kind of, well, there's no way she gave away that Talia's coming, but there's a lot of people off the map. I think buy. They kind of have to back off. Who's he going to chain? Is he going to chain the Jace for 1v1 split pressure? I do like what he itemized, how he itemized though. The chains, split push against... Yeah, and he's building armor. Um, maybe he's going to chain Talia for team fights because he doesn't have any MR. That's what I think he's going to do. But I thought he's going to chain for 1v1, but I actually think he might be able to 1v1 this Jace at the moment. Is he's three item? Maybe Jace is four item, yes, but uh, Aurelia is kind of good into Jace because he's range champ technically and she can W his combo. Talia is not showing her face. I need to end Oh, okay. He's going for team fight now. Okay. Now he's just going to build full armor. So he's going to play for fights now. So like he is splitting, but I think he's going to group with his team. For my one year anniversary, do this Earl wide sex, so do this Earl wide I also think Ravenous Hydra is probably a good item on, on Aurelia. I could see it because... He's dead. We might be able to win there. Well, they killed Jace somehow. I guess Varus ulted. Oh, no one... No, Varus didn't even ult. Poppy just ulted. <laughs> it just killed him. Jace is throwing his lead like like it's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Like, I don't know. Like, he just throws his... his all this... All the resources were spent on this Jace, and he's just throwing his lead like it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Which means he's not a good player. I don't get shit, really. If Boss has a lead, he has a lot of split push. Like, look how much towers Boss has gotten. He's gotten top turret, bot turret. Jace has gotten nothing. He's he's grouped and lost the team fight. Uh, which is interesting. Very interesting, actually. Uh, I'm not sure what, what, what's going on. Here's <laughs> Shima, what do you think about dying this often, like, boss every game? It's not good. But also, he is kind of getting the waves. And, like, he got ganked a lot. And messed up a lot of 1v1s. The thing is, though, if he did get these 1v1s, I don't know. I don't know what he would do with his uh, lead, but it doesn't matter now. He's got three items. So, he's also split pushing, like, the enemy's forced to either come to him and, like, four, two, three-man gangbang him. Oh, uh, hmm. Uh, hmm, I don't know, can he TP? Well, the thing is, his team is disengaging, so no one's dying like, off that Talia wall. This is really good. No one's answering him. Jace, for some reason, doesn't want to Jace manage coming. his wave. Can like, I 1v1 the Jace? <clears throat> there's no minions. Let's find out. There's no minions. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Leeson's here. He's gotta go for minions. Uh oh. I think he could play that a little bit better if he wants. If I don't miss the stun, why do I keep missing the stun? <laughs> yeah, if he hits sun too, right? I think it's good. Um, but also, I think he gotta use the minions up there to do something. I don't know. Like, I don't play Aurelia. I saw the angle on the on the minions. Maybe there's some. 
really king stuff going on there, but if he hits a stun, yeah, he hits a solo kill. If they get Baron off this, they sent three people bot. Okay, Jinx ult. Got Jinx ulted. And now they, <laughs> they're in a great position, actually. They sent three people bot. I don't know what the enemy team is doing. Like, come on, just send like two people, maybe. Just like send like two, even one should, like who can handle him? Jace cannot split, cannot handle the, the Terra Aurelia AD. But then you go Scion. Bro, you're stupid. It's 2024. Picking Sun in 24, 2024 is like uh, doing the um, planking challenge. <laughs> this is not it. But I, I do. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, like I said, Aurelia, hard champion to play. Actually, I think AP Aurelia is a little bit easier. All you have to do is hit ER. Uh, but really, like, AD, you have, to kinda, fighting hard there. you have to queue a lot of places. So that's kind of hard. Really, uh, Talia just backed out. What's he looking for? He's looking for pressure or push. He's got Dragon. I don't know if it's Dragon Soul, but... Something is about to happen. No one's trying to kill him. I'm actually... Like, where he's at, I there think he no. should die. But no one wants to kill him, so... Let's go top. Okay, he has TP, he can... Ma okay, oh, sh Jace was there. Well, what's he doing? I don't, I don't know about this. I think he should push the wave that, that's back there. I don't think he should commit. Okay, Jace does negative damage. Okay, here, this is why I didn't want to see a commitment. Uh, yeah, that's what I want to see when enemy team just, like, trying to kill him right there. Sorry, oh, guys. Um... Uh, be honest, uh, a little overextension because you see a lot of people on the map, uh, or no, you see no one on the map, so you, you really, you don't, you don't really have to do anything. You just sit there, and when the enemy shows up to defend top lane, uh, then you can actually just start hitting the inhibitor, and then you can go for a pressure out play. Because once your top lane or your top lane or whatever your other people are at top lane, uh, and they send two or three people bot, they get a free inhibitor. They can get the inhibitor, but. Um, they're a bit late on it, so yeah, you can cause a lot of pressure uh, by sending having people come after you like two people, and then once they see like two people bot, hey, it's a four v five, four v three top side. You can get the inhibitor easy. If they commit, well, they lose. They got also a great. Did they get dragon? I don't think they did. I think they got didn't get this dragon. I think I'll be sleeping here. Yeah. Save it. Is walking. I guess we don't have towers to take, so we don't technically need minion wave, but I think in a straight up 5v5 we can't just go because you need the wave. they have so much poke with the Jace. You need the wave. Why do you need the wave? I don't know. I think there's minions to block skill shots. So this is just yeah, that's kind of it. We gotta get every wave <laughs> Also, when we eventually do die because we are gonna die. Yeah. We can't let them end. Yeah, and if they have the wave, like they ace them. They get towers because those waves, yeah, they can just like walk to the wave and then go to the tower, right? So <clears throat> even though they ace them in, in their base, they can, if you don't handle that wave, well, your base is going to die. Okay, they just killed Lee Sin. You can easily one, like I see the TPW on the map, but this is actually an easy 1v1. It's not easy. It doesn't look like that easy. Oh, it actually is that easy. It's just that easy, but he's in base now. <clears throat> fuck, fuck you, man. Like, honestly, yeah, triple in every turn. Should be GG. Wow, this game is over. And funny enough, he is half his team's deaths, and that which means his team is extremely ahead. <laughs> that means his team is actually insanely ahead. So. That's actually kind of good. Uh, top lane experience, by the way. And he's also four items. Um, he can actually one of you on the Jace. Even if he has five items, it doesn't matter. This champion is a bit, a bit better. Well, in terms of one of you on, I think Jace is... He's good. He's a good champ. He's a decent champ, but I think a really one of you on is better. That's what she's kind of built for. 
So now that Baron is coming up, you just get the Baron and then guess what? You just look at the minion wave, let minions do the work. Enemy is forced to 5v5 you. That's what they want to do. Um, so don't give him that angle. You just kite back and if their engage doesn't work, hey, their base dies. Doesn't matter their engage dies. Their engage fails, guess what? Their base dies automatically. Because they're forced to fight and get pressured, right? Wait, what the hell? Yo, like, okay, I was like, what are they doing? They're trying to like... I mean, basically what they're trying to do is... Yeah, this is a good fight. I like what this is happening. I don't like how his team is about to throw before Baron. But if they want to do that... I think we can... Uh, we don't need Baron. I think it's the safer play. Like, it's just an automatic win. If you get Baron, it's just an automatic win. It takes like, yeah, two more minutes to end the but game. My team wants to go for it, so... It takes two more minutes to end the game, but like... Even then, you don't like you don't want to risk it because if you get wiped and they get Baron and they have a Jinx, and then they wipe you after Baron, they get Baron. Uh, you're 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 gonna like yeah, it's really screwed. But also, if they pressure the Baron while he split pushes split pushes bot, they're kind of forced to to commit the one way. Like they can't even go out of their base. If his team starts Baron, uh, his their base is gonna explode, and this is bad. Uh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but they get Baron. Yeah, uh. almost. Uh, they get Baron. Can't lose soul. Yes, you can, because you can just buy executioners. That is it's actually really easy. I don't like his poppy. Although, it's actually really easy to get uh, this dragon. They have to stall, play slow. Oh. I don't know what's going on here. Which is level 17. This Varus is level 16. Oh, this Jinx is actually very far ahead. Like you said, just don't give Jinx the reset and you might, and you will win the game. And you have Alt Ranger with various way, Oriana control, controlling zoning. Okay, let's see what happens. I would go Alex. Okay, he's got. The let's get it. This is it. This is it. The final push. They don't have top and hip, but. Get no one. Got this. Oh, okay. Okay, he's gonna go for the. I can't move. He got it. He won. Wow. He... Nice GG. Clean game. Clean game. <laughs> it was a weak side difference game. I want to see how much damage he did. I felt like he was in a lot of fights. Okay. He did the second most, so... Oh my god, 700 LP Grandmaster, let's go. Alright, thank you for watching. That was... That was I guess it was like Challenger Grandmaster. That Jace was... 317, and he says clean. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.